Today is finally the day where I share my top 10 favorite gels. I've been doing this series for a couple months now where I share my top curly hair products that are Curly Girl Method approved. And I don't just list off my favorites. I go into detail about their ingredients, which ones have proteins, which ones have humectants, the different price points, which ones have a strong hold, which ones are lighter hold, and everything in between. So you're gonna get the full breakdown so you can select the best gel for your hair type. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Gina and I make videos all about naturally curly hair. I try and simplify things for beginners so that everyone can achieve healthy curls. So let's go ahead and get started. Just like the previous top 10 videos that I've done, I will have a chart on the blog post that goes with this video. That will be an extensive list of all of these products and it will also include everything you need to know about them in a chart format. So the reason it's taken me so long to make this video is because I am very picky with my gels. I have pretty high standards when it comes to gel. Because I'm so picky with it, I have a lot of different criteria for how I'm going to rate these gels. So you'll see on that chart where I talk about their longevity, so how long that they last throughout the week, how easy they are to refresh with. So the link for that blog post will be in the description box down below. I'm sure a lot of you are probably going to guess what this first one is, and that is the Weedad Advanced Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel in the Stronger Hold version. I've been using this gel from Weedad for years. I first discovered it because I live in a very humid area in the summertime especially, and when I was transitioning, I had a lot of trouble with humidity. Nothing worked for me no matter what I tried, and this was one of the few gels that I could use on my hair that was very damaged and frizzy, and it worked great, and it would hold up throughout the whole week. I've done lots of videos featuring this. I love it with lots of different creams. So this is one of the few products from We Dead that is silicone free, so this is Curly Girl Method approved, although a lot of the other products that are part of this heat and humidity range are not. A lot of them contain silicones because silicones do block out humidity, but thankfully this gel does not contain that. So I do consider this a strong hold gel. The hold is definitely adaptable though, so if you wanted it to be a lighter hold, you would just use less product, and you could also dilute it more with some water if you didn't want it to be as strong of a hold. I personally love a strong hold gel though. I like my curls to last throughout the week with minimal refreshing. But the most unique thing about this Weeda gel is it has a lot of slip. This is a very thin, watery consistency. It feels very slippery. It has a lot of ingredients that are great for slip, which is why I recommend this a lot of times for people who are transitioning or if they have very high porosity hair, because high porosity hair tends to tangle very easily. You need that moisture because it can be very dry and it can just be hard to distribute stronghold gel sometimes but I like the texture of this one. It's very liquidy. It's going to be great for any hair type, so even if you have very thin hair, medium or coarse hair, it's gonna be great for you. My hair is medium to coarse, so I do have some areas of my hair that are very coarse. Those feel very brittle at times and can tangle up easily, so that's why I like this thin, slippery texture. So the ingredients that make this humidity proof are polyquat ingredients. Polyquats tend to get a bad rap in the curly hair community sometimes because they are known to stick to the hair and block out humidity, that's what they're for, but some say that they can build up on the hair. I haven't had a problem really with build up with these polyquat ingredients that are in this product, and I think that's because I like using a lathering shampoo, so I don't have any issues with that, and I do clarify pretty frequently, but if you were only co-washing and then using a product that had a lot of polyquats, then I could see how maybe you could get build up, but that's what it's designed to do is to block out humidity. It's sort of like silicone, but it is a more water-soluble version. And I did also research that there's other ingredients in here. I think it was that PEG 75 shea butter glycerides that is supposed to make the polyquat ingredients more water soluble. So um, combined together with the other ingredients that are in here, it shouldn't build up on your hair. So this gel also contains large proteins. So some of the protein ingredients in here include hydrolyzed wheat protein, which is a plant protein, those tend to be stronger. This also has wheat amino acids. Amino acids are a smaller protein that don't usually cause overload. There are a lot of moisturizing ingredients in here. It does have quite a few humectants. It has glycerin as the second ingredient, which you might be confused about why would they have glycerin in a gel that's supposed to be for humidity. But my theory is that because they've paired it with all those other polyquat ingredients, it doesn't affect your hair with the glycerin in it. So in terms of longevity, this is one of the most long lasting products that I have. It reactivates with water, which makes refreshing very easy. 
And since it is so thin, you can layer it up to refresh. So you can also even detangle with it when you're refreshing, which is great. So now moving on to a drugstore alternative that I think is a very close texture and formula to that Wee Dad one is from Dove. This is the Dove Amplified Textures Shine and Moisture Finishing Gel. This is a new discovery for me. I tested this out last year and really enjoyed it. This also has that very thin liquidy consistency. They both give really great shine to the hair and this one also has humidity blocking ingredients. This one has a few more ingredients that are moisturizing. It does have glycerin and propylene glycol in it which are the second and third ingredient. Those are humectants but it does also have those polyquaternium ingredients. It has polyquaternium tin. This also has aloe, hydrogenated castor oil, shea butter. This does have coconut oil in it, so keep that in mind if you don't prefer coconut products. It also has VPVA copolymer, which is a holding ingredient. So anytime you see any type of copolymer or the polyquat ingredients, those usually indicate stronghold. This one is protein free, so this would be a good alternative to the Wee Dad one if you not only wanted a cheaper version, but if you wanted something that was protein free. This one is also pretty long lasting. I got great volume when I used this. I have done a routine using this product. I will link for you down below. I'll try and pull up all of the videos that I've done featuring these gels, like the main review videos, um, and I'll link them in the description box down below. But when I used this, I had such great volume and my hair still looked really good on next day hair. It can be reactivated with water, which is great, but I do usually add a little bit more product. And this one is the most affordable. This one is only $7, which is a great price. So another oldie but goodie and affordable product is from Dippity Doo. This is the Girls With Curls Light Hold Jelly. This one I actually consider to be a stronghold gel, maybe more medium hold, but I actually get a strong hold out of this. I think most people that have tried this say that. Um, this one is pretty hard to find though, which is the only downside to this. I got this at TJ Maxx for only $5.99, so about six bucks. I think it is regularly $8. It is a Canadian brand, which I think is why it's so hard to find here in the US. This is available on Amazon, but you're gonna pay a little bit more for it. I think it's around $16 on Amazon. But this one is very lightweight. It's a pink clear jelly. So this one is a little bit different than like a liquid gel. So this gel does not have any glycerin in it, but it does have other humectants in it like sorbitol, propylene glycol, and aloe. Oh, I also forgot to mention the Dove Gel it does have aloe in it as well. So this also has a strong protein in it. This has hydrolyzed wheat protein. So the only downside to this one is it can dry out your hair. I always use a cream underneath of it, which I do with most all of these gels. I use a cream underneath because my hair can get very dry. Um, but this one can leave your hair dry feeling as you're applying it. So you might feel like you need to add more water. But if you have too much water in your hair when you're applying this gel or most of these gels, it's going to dilute the product and you're gonna get less hold out of it. So if you wanna get more hold, try applying it to damp hair. So the next gel is probably one of my second favorites of all time after the Wee Dad one. And this is from Curlsmith. This is the Curl Defining Styling Souffle. I've tried all of Curlsmith gels and this one is my favorite. I think because I really enjoy this texture. So this is a souffle. So the texture of it is like a whipped custard. Pretty jiggly like jello. It almost looks like if you whipped up jello. This gel is unique because it actually contains flaxseed and aloe. So flaxseed gels and aloe gels are very similar, but flaxseed tends to give more hold. I actually consider this gel to lean more towards the strong hold versus medium. It says that it's a medium hold gel, but I tend to get more strong hold out of it, I think because I use a lot of product, maybe because I like to style with damp hair, which usually gives you more hold. I can pretty much customize this though, whether if I want medium to strong hold. Love the natural ingredients in all Curl Smith products. It also has Irish moss, which gives lots of slip. I think that's also why I really like this and why I gravitate towards a lot of these is that slippery texture because I have issues with tangles and my high porosity hair really likes having that slip. So the humectant ingredients in this product are glycerin, sorbitol, Irish moss, aloe, and the flaxseed. So all of those are humectants. The film forming humectants in here, like the flaxseed gel and the aloe, those are gonna help prevent your hair from getting dehydrated throughout the week. So this one holds up really well for me on next day hair. Refreshing with it is super easy and it does reactivate with water. Another thing I love about the Curlsmith products is they don't build up on my hair at all. 
my hair always feels great on next day hair, so I can usually go longer in between washes. They also have smaller sizes of this, so if you just wanted to try it out, they do sell a little bottle of it if you wanted to test it, and they do have a larger bottle as well, but this is the medium size that comes in the tub. Also, I did wanna let you know about my Curlsmith code that I just got for 10% off. I will have that listed down below. It's only valid for new customers, so if you've never tried Curlsmith before, now's definitely the time to do it because you'll get that 10% off. So the next product is super new to me, but I was so blown away when I first used it that I had to include it in this video, but haven't tested it very long, but it's a fan favorite, and that is the Kinky Curly Curling Custard. I cannot believe that I had never tried this before. I've always heard great things about it. It's a bestseller at the drugstore. For being from the drugstore though, this is more on the pricey side at $18, but it is more accessible. You can find this like at Target and stuff, but I can't believe I had never tried this before. I really love this product. This is very similar to the Curlsmith Curl Defining Styling Souffle, so I think it's a pretty close dupe. So it is a custard formula, so it has that like whipped jelly type of formula. I think this would work on all hair types, no matter if you have fine or coarse hair. Again, I think the reason why I really enjoy this is it does have nettle and marshmallow and aloe, so it gives lots of slip. It was very easy to apply this. So there are no proteins in this product. It's also glycerin free, but there are several other humectants in here like the aloe. It also has agave nectar and it has pectin, which is another humectant. This gives lots of shine, great definition. My curls held up really good throughout the week. Fun fact, I actually used this before going on a hike and it was super windy. Like the most wind that I've ever been out in before and especially up on top of a mountain. And my curls still looked great after the hike and the next day. I actually went like five or six days after that wash day, after being in the wind and in the hike and it still looks really good. So I did track that progress over on my Instagram. I try and do that whenever I'm testing a new product so it will be saved to my story highlights. But because this held up throughout that long hike and all those days after, I had to include it. I did refresh a couple days after, but it still looked really good. So 10 out of 10 for me. I can't believe I never tried this product before. So the next gel has been a long-term favorite of mine and that is from Bounce Curl. This is the light cream gel. This is an aloe based gel, just like most of these products, but this one is more of a watery consistency. This is a light milky color. This one I think has the most water in it. And so I tend to use a lot of product when I use this, I think because it has a lot of water. On their site, it says that it's 80% gel and 20% cream, but it's a a little confusing because I don't find it to be very moisturizing. I still have to use a cream or a leave-in underneath this gel. If I were to use it by itself, my hair might dry out because it is pretty strong aloe. I know some people feel like they can get like a drying effect from aloe and this is one of the gels that will do that for me. So you might be wondering if it has those negative effects, why are you still including it? Because I do still really love it and I get amazing results when I use it. I just have to pair it with a cream, so keep that in mind. The second ingredient in this is a VPVA copolymer, which is going to give you a strong hold. It also has a lot of proteins in here. So if your hair loves proteins, this one's definitely gonna be for you. It has hydrolyzed wheat protein, hydrolyzed oat protein. So all of those are strong protein ingredients. It has aloe, like I mentioned, and it also has some natural extracts and oils in it. So this one is also on the natural side. A lot of the Bounce Core products are certified organic or they have certified organic ingredients. Um, but like I said, this one sometimes can be finicky with me, but I always love my results when I use this. I used to use this one all the time when I was transitioning and it held up great in the summertime. So a lot of people call the Bounce Curl Gel a light hold gel, but I actually consider this to be more of a medium to strong hold. I have gotten pretty strong hold out of it when I use a lot of product. A little tip with this one, you can also use their hairspray over top for extra hold. So if you wanna get more hold out of this gel, layer it up with that hairspray and your curls will be good to go in the summertime. So Bounce Curl products are usually around $18. They can range up to 25 if they're not on sale, but I do have a 10% off discount code. I will link that for you down below. And they do have sample sizes now. So they have little trial versions that you can get, but I don't think my code will work on the trial versions because they're already discounted and they're just a smaller bottle. Um, but if you wanted to get the full size products, definitely check out that code. I'll link it for you down below. So the next gel is for those of you that 
that like supernatural ingredients and that is from Inner Sense. This is the I Create Hold Gel. So this gel contains certified organic ingredients just like all of the Inner Sense products do. This one is pretty unique though because it's very, very thick. This one requires a lot of water to emulsify it in your hand to where you can more easily apply it. And because it is so thick, I would recommend this more for those with medium to coarse hair, which is what I have. I think that it would work better on those hair textures versus someone with very fine hair because of the thick texture. I think it might be too heavy on someone with fine hair. This does have aloe in it as the third ingredient. It also has some polymer ingredients like copolymer that help give it a lot of hold. I actually consider this to be more of a medium hold though. I know that it says that it's a strong hold, but I usually get a medium hold out of it. I guess if you layered it up a lot, you might be able to get some strong hold, but I would consider this one to be a medium hold. So this Innersense gel is actually protein free, which is surprising because Innersense products are known to have a lot of proteins, but that is good that they do have some products like this without protein. So that way, if you're doing a full Innersense wash day, you can have that balance of protein and moisture. In terms of longevity, this holds up pretty good throughout wash days, but I do have to add more product usually. I love how Innersense products don't build up on the hair at all. Just like Curlsmith, those two brands, I don't know what it is, but they never really build up and get gunky on my hair. Like I don't get a lot of product build up from them. I feel like I can use very mild shampoos and they don't build up on my hair, which is awesome. So a lot of brands, if I use too much or I layer too much when I'm refreshing, it'll just start to get sticky and weighed down. Innersense doesn't do that at all, but I do have to add some more of that when I am refreshing because it does have more of that medium hold so it doesn't last the entire week. And Innersense products are now available at Ulta. They are on the higher end side. It's about $26 because of those natural ingredients and the organic ingredients that are in it. So next product is the Mop Top Curly Hair Custard. You guys probably haven't seen me talk about this a lot on my channel. It's been a while since I used this. This one is also a little bit hard to find, but I got this on Amazon. Really enjoyed this. It reminds me a lot of the Kinky Curly Custard. Very similar products. This one has like a cloudy type of liquidy gel. So this one's more liquidy than like some of the souffle type products, but it is a custard. Custards sometimes can weigh down fine hair, but I don't think this one would. I think this one is still great for all hair types, just like the majority of these gels. Other than that Innersense one, most all of these would work for fine or medium or coarse hair. So this one also gives great slit because of the ingredients in here. It does have silk amino acids, which is a small protein ingredient that does give a lot of slip. It also has aloe in it, it has glycerin, it has honey, which is a film forming humectant, and it has pectin, which is another humectant. So very moisturizing. It doesn't have any strong proteins or anything in it, but it will give you some of that strength with the nettle, the willow bark, and also the silk amino acid ingredients. It also has a seaweed extract, which gives a lot of slip to the hair. So this one also holds up great on next day hair, but you do have to add more product. Oh, and the mop top products are more on the affordable side, but it's around $16. So a little bit higher end, but still not bad price. So next up is another drugstore product. This is the Uncle Funky Starter Curly Magic Curl stimulator. Some people don't consider this a gel. Some people just consider it like a curl enhancing product, but I actually got pretty strong hold out of this, but I will list it as medium just because I know a lot of you say that this is a very light hold product, but I don't know if it's just because I like to damp style or if because I use a lot of product and I'm heavy handed. I got great hold out of this in really great definition. I just realized that the ingredients I was looking at online are different than what's here on the bottle. So maybe they reformulated because in my notes, I had that this was aloe free and also that it didn't have water, but those are the first two ingredients. So maybe the ingredients on target are wrong. This does have water, it has aloe in it. It also has marshmallow extract, which I think is why it has so much slip to it. This one probably has the most slip out of all of these other than like the Weed Add and the Dove Gel. This also has horsetail extract, chamomile, vitamin E, agave nectar. I don't see any glycerin in here, but it does have some humectant ingredients like the aloe and 
also the agave nectar. So my hair also held up really good when I used this on refresh days, but you do need to add a little bit more product and it also reactivates great with water. So sometimes you can get away with just adding a little bit of water and you're good to go. I think this one would be great if you had fine hair because it is so lightweight, it's not gonna weigh down your hair. This also can be layered. A lot of people like to use this along with a gel. I don't normally do that though because most of my gels already give me good curl definition and stuff and I wouldn't really pick a gel that I have to add something else to it with, but I know some people like layering with this, so I get strong hold out of it. Maybe check out the routine that I did to see how I get strong hold with that. I will link it for you down below. I used a drugstore cream underneath of it too and still got great hold. So last but not least, we have the Trey Lux High Definition Curl Enhancer Styling Gel. So as I mentioned, I'm going in order from strongest hold to medium to lightest hold. This is the one gel that I have is a light hold gel. I've tested this gel a lot and each time I've gotten a little bit different results. I can get a strong hold out of this if I use a lot of it, but the kicker is if you use too much of this gel, it will give you flakes. So you can only use a little bit of it. So in that case, it's a light hold gel because I can't be very heavy handed with this. So that is one downside to it. A little goes a long way. So it does just give you a light hold. All Trey Lux products are completely all natural. They have a lot of botanical ingredients in them. They are available at Whole Foods stores as well. And I did just get a discount code for Trey Lux. If you weren't already aware, it will get you 15% off their site. So I'll have that linked down below. So it's about $17 plus with the 15% off, not bad. And this tub will last forever. This is the first tub that I got and I've used it actually quite a bit. And I probably still have three quarters left. Smells amazing. This one also has water and aloe as the first ingredient. It has propylene glycol. This is glycerin free, but it does have other humectants in it like aloe and propylene glycol. It also has seaweed extract, which gives it a lot of slip, which is also why I really like it. So because this one has very small protein ingredients like keratin amino acids, I think this would be a great option if you tend to get protein overload or you're afraid of getting protein overload, but you still wanna incorporate some strengthening products. It's a great way to do so because it's definitely not gonna cause protein overload and you can still get a really balanced wash day with it. So this is a great option for that. It's not quite as strong as some of the other gels that have proteins. Some other moisturizing ingredients that this has is avocado, honey, and sage extract. Oh, so that was all of the products. That was my top 10 favorite gels. There was also another gel that I used on my hair today in this last wash day that I loved, but unfortunately I couldn't include it in this because it's too new. It's actually not out yet, so I can't share it in this video, but if you want to check back on next Sunday's video, I will have a video up all about it. It's from one of my favorite brands and it's very similar in texture to these gels, um, but it's gonna have some protein in it and stuff. So I can't wait to share it with you guys. Check back next Sunday for that video if you wanna see what I have in my hair and another really great gel that will probably definitely be in the next lineup that I do of my top 10 favorite gels. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna summarize all of this over on that chart. I think that should be very helpful for you to refer back to when you're trying to figure out which gel is best for your hair type. Also, if you want to check out the rest of this top 10 series, we've done lots of these videos. You can check out the link down below for that playlist. So that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this free content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you back next Sunday for a new video. Bye everyone.